We are just south and west of Wichita, and look at this. Imagine the power of flattened trees, and of course, we've got pieces of a shredded barn that have traveled more than 100 yards from back there. This type of power, we watched it as it headed right toward downtown Wichita. Huge. This storm chase okay, started a with a tornado moving right toward downtown Wichita. We gotta get ready to go. We raced north to meet it. We're just now coming on Wichita. We're about five miles south, and the storm structure is incredible. It's gonna pass right over the city of Wichita. This has already produced tornadoes. Our crew catching the angry skies and chaos around us as we get pelted with golf ball sized hail. You can hear the hail. The hail here is wild. We're starting to get it running right on the outside of the storm. We're going to try to get north and get to a safe place. That safe place was east of the tornado, which was wrapped in rain and dying. That is the storm that just moved through Wichita, so we are going to find some damage and also try to chase. There's another storm just to the south that has a tornado warning on it right now. We're going to try to go straight back on. We blast south and end up south of Tulsa, the sirens blaring. No longer safe. So this is our last storm. This is actually the, what's left of the storm that dropped a tornado in Shawnee, devastating it. It was a long day chasing the 28 reported tornadoes, and we'll be out doing it again today. And a reminder, Sam, that storm chasers, especially those who are trained like myself, are necessary and very helpful. It's not just voyeurism. We are calling 911 the second we see a tornado, and therefore all the officials have the information the second they need it.